Hello everybody and welcome to your 25th SFML tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about um, utilizing the mouse in our program so what we're going to be learning is detecting mouse clicks in our program and locating where the mouse position is on the screen and uh, this isn't going to detect for single mouse clicks uh, this, that's going to be for a future tutorial uh, but this is just going to show you how to simply do it using uh, the getting input so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function and our function is called mouse click and we have two things in our parameters uh, so take this code from the music tutorial yeah so we basically we're going to when they press a certain when they press the mouse button if it's over if they click the right button then they'll either play the music pause the music or stop the music so we're actually gonna um, take the music and the parameters too. make sure there's ampersands between both of them So we we have an integer for our mouse X and an integer for our mouse Y So our mouse X is equal to window dot get input dot get mouse X So that will get the mouse the, the mouse's X position on the screen and mouse Y window dot get Input dot get mouse Y and that will get the Y the mouse's Y coordinate so right here we see that if window dot get input dot is mouse button down sf colon colon mouse colon colon left so if they press down the left mouse button and mouse x is greater than or equal to 350 and mouse x is less than an or less than or equal to 450 then we check for this so before I check the rest of the mouse click function let's look down here so I have three rectangles one green one yellow one red green is going to stand for the play button yellow stands for the pause button and stop for the red button so much like a traffic light or something so green yellow and red so yeah those are three buttons these are the position for the buttons that we're drawing etc etc okay so uh we basically see that if our mouse um if the mouse y if they press if they press the left mouse button and the mouse X is greater than 350 or less than and it's less than 400 and it's less than 450 therefore we need to check to see if it has actually collided with one of the boxes or you're you're clicking one of the boxes so we say if mouse Y is greater than 100 and mouse Y is less than 200 then that means they click the play button so you play the music else if they if mouse y is greater than 200 and it's less than 300 therefore they click the pause button and they pause the music else if if the mouse button is greater than 300 and the mouse y is less than 400 then we stop the music simple enough so everything should be uh, fairly sim simple right here same with the fonts and everything so we have a font loaded and everything because we're going to be writing text inside our boxes. So mo most likely you're going to handle this more efficiently, but I just did it to make this tutorial series easy and simple to understand. So we put our mouse click function here. We clear the window. We set our, our game text position and we set the text to play. We draw the button and then we draw the text over the button. We reset our position. Uh, and then we would set the text to pause. We draw the pause button and then we draw the text. And then we reset the to a new position, draw the text stop, and then we draw the we draw the button and then we draw the text and then we display everything to the game window. So if I was to run this program So this is what we will get in our in our program. So when I press the play button, when I press the pause button, it will pause it. If you press play again, now it, it notice if you keep on pressing the play button, it kind of makes like a buzzing noise, like er, like an error noise. Uh, that's the reason is because it, you can't really play a track while it's playing. Now you can always do like uh, you could always check to see that if the state is playing, then you don't then you don't need to activate intro music dot play. But that's for you to do, you guys to do. It's not for like depending depending on what you guys really want to implement in your program. So if they pause it and they press play, it continues from the last from where it stopped. If you click stop and you play and you click play again, it will play it from the beginning. 
so that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye